going to challenge ourselves. And I think we're going to work on some upper body, like bicep, tricep training. Someone at one point said that they wanted to work on the this part. <laughs> so we'll do a little bit of that. But really for yoga, just, you know, so Bamji, you're probably thinking, what does that uh, uh, mean, right? Bamji yoga. So breath, awareness, movement, and grace. Yeah. And so that's what we're going to do. Breath, movement, awareness, and grace. Breath, awareness, movement, and grace. So just keeping that in mind as we flow through our class today um, and uh, just see how that feels. Right. So let's find our chairs and get ourselves nice and comfortable seated on a chair, which allows us to have a nice tall spine. Yeah, good. All right. And let's just arrive in the space. Good. And take a nice big breath in and let it go. Take a nice breath in and let it go. All right. And we're going to begin with just a little ujjayi breath. So a little slight restriction of the back of the throat. And as you breathe in, as you, a little bit of a, as if the breath is riding to the back of the throat, as you breathe in, and then as you breathe out, breath comes out, and then just riding along the back of the throat as well. Yeah, and let's close our eyes if they aren't there already. And just practice nice, long, slow, deep ujjayi breaths. Do your best to feel that breath. It's almost like you're um, wanting to fog up a mirror on the on an exhale breath. Yeah. And bring a little smile to your face now as we breathe in and out with ujjayi breath. And one more breath here. And at the end of the exhale breath, you can just relax the breath. Now, just release the breath. Okay. I'm bringing palms up on your lap if they aren't already up. And just feel that openness and that relaxation just with that minute or so of breathing. Feel how the body starts to relax. And when the body starts to relax, typically the mind will start to relax as well. Yeah, I think it's harder to get the mind to relax first. So it's nice to relax the body first and then allow the mind to settle. Okay. So that ujjayi breath, just have that be your companion throughout the rest of the practice. Ujjayi breath helps us to cleanse our breath before it hits our lungs. And it also helps us to slow our breath down. Yeah, and it also helps with increasing the nitric oxide in our vascular system. So our vascular system can dilate and get more oxygen. Yes. All right. And when you're feeling ready and complete, either you can keep your eyes closed here or you can flutter your eyes open and we'll start to move the body a little bit. Good. So you can keep your hands up on your lap or down. We're gonna to start to move upper body first. Yeah, so take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, slowly turn and look over your right shoulder. And then on an inhale breath, bring the head back forward. Take a breath in again. And on an exhale breath, turn your head over to the other shoulder. Stretch the neck. You'll feel the stretch on the back of the neck. Sometimes I even feel this in my sinuses, stretching those muscles, opening them up. And inhale, slowly bring the head back forward. Take a breath in. 
And as you exhale, drop your right ear to the right shoulder. Good. And if your eyes are open or even if they're closed, roll your eyeballs up to the upper left corner of the room. Engaging that vagus nerve, letting it settle, relax. Good. And relax your eyes, press into your feet, slowly lift your head back up. Take a breath in and on an exhale breath, drop the head over to the other side. Good, and then roll your eyes up to the upper left, right corner of the room now. It's the opposite of where your head is tilted. It's where your eyes want to gaze. And breathe, smile. And then relax your gaze and press into your feet to float your head back up. Good. Now on an inhale breath, press your chin gently forward and up. Yeah, keeping a nice, space behind your neck there. I don't want to drop your head back. It's a lot of weight. Yeah. And then exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Relax your shoulders. Good. And then on an inhale breath, slowly roll your head over to the right. As you exhale, bring it back. As you inhale, bring it to the left. As you exhale, drop it to your chin, chin to chest. So just following that breath, inhaling over to the right. Exhale, roll your head back and over to the left. And down. So just practice with your breath, with each movement. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more round here. So when we change the breath and follow the breath, it slows the pose down a little bit. Next time your chin drops to your chest, pause. Let's reverse. So inhale now to the left. Exhale back. Inhale to the right. Exhale forward. Two more at your own pace. See if you can get that breath cadence. Okay. Notice any tension in the neck. And next time the head comes forward, pause, relax the shoulders, good. And slowly lift the head back up. Okay, so we're gonna do our little face lift. If this is a, this is a funny one. And then, so we, we're, we did about four, I think four. And then, so the next couple of weeks, we're gonna marry all of them. And it really does help to lift this, you know, underneath the, the chin and the, jaw and the cheeks and all of that and work our face right do a face yoga face yoga yes all right so this one we're basically going to blow our cheeks up so we're going to bring our lips together we're going to puff our cheeks out like that we're going to take one of our hands our fingers and we're going to as the cheeks are puffed out we're just going to bring them onto our lips as if we want to smooth out any of those little wrinkles that probably a lot of us are getting there just gently smoothing those out as your cheeks are puffed. And then we're gonna just start to pat with the other hand, pat our cheek. Ready? So puff the cheeks up, hand on the lips, and start to just puff, uh, pat. Keep breathing through the nose. And relax. <laughs> What's a funny one? Anyway, as you do it, when you start, it's like, what's this doing, right? But as you continue and holding that air into your cheeks, and then sometimes you need to refill up your cheeks, right? You start to feel that nice um, muscle work in your cheeks. So let's do the other side. Let's do it again. So um, again, just breathing air into your cheeks. 
as much as you can. Just lay your hand onto your lips and start to pat. Really fill up those cheeks with air. Those fingers are just gently pulling those wrinkles out of your lips. and relax. That's fun, right? Yeah. So next couple of weeks, we'll marry all four of those and get in, get ourselves, if you're interested, into a little series of doing face yoga. It takes It'll take you about a, two or three minutes a day. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to come into um, a little, let's see, uh, more stretch for the shoulders here. So we're going to reach our arms forward. And then we're going to cross at our wrist and interlace your hands. And we're going to find that ujjayi breath here. And on an inhale breath, we're going to slide the uh, palms forward. And as you exhale, draw your shoulders back. And inhale, slide your arms forward. Feel that stretch in your shoulder blades and slide your hands back. Good. And just a couple more. Just make this feel nice. Opening up that back and shoulders, the back of your shoulders. Good. And one more time. Slide forward and draw your arms back. Good. And release the arms. Good. Shake it out. Good. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah. Good. Now we're going to float our arms out to a T. Good. We're going to bring them into cactus and then take a breath in, lift your heart, lift your chin. And as you exhale, we're going to bring one arm under the other, doesn't matter which, and come into an eagle arms. So the backs of the hands are to, you know, facing each other. Good. And see if you can find a little nice stretch. Again, a little bit deeper stretch in those shoulder blades. Good. And if you want to take it a little further, you can draw your hands away from your face. Yeah, and breathe here. And if you're not feeling enough of a stretch, you can maybe lift your elbows up a little higher. Yeah, so this is squeezing our lymphatic system underneath our arms as well. Good. And then exhale, just relax the arms. Yeah, uncross, good. Roll out the shoulders, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna press into our feet as you lift your shoulders up to your earlobes and feel the spine get a nice stretch. Just imagine this space between the discs of your spine. And then exhale, just drop your shoulders, keep your spine nice and tall. Yeah, good, all right, and roll it out. Good, all right, we're gonna come into a little upper body work. I don't know if I've done this before with you, but so, so many times it's, you know, there's weightlifting, you know, how they tell us for bone de density and for strength to do weightlifting. The, the thing about weightlifting though, is, I mean, unless you're really working with a trainer and they can see that you're not having your shoulders forward while you're lifting weights, that can be a lot of strain on the shoulders and the back. So to, this, this is a sort of a safer way right, to do some bicep and tricep, yeah. So I'll relax the arms down alongside the body and we're gonna float the arms out into a T, good. And we're just gonna open and close and open and close the hands, good. And then relax and we're gonna flip our palms up and open and close, open and close those hands, good. And then we're going to flip the palms back down and lift the fingers up. And we're going to press into the palms. You've done this one before, right? This really engages that liver energy, our life force energy, basically. So just feel that life force energy engage. Press, press, press. Smile, smile, smile. Relax. Then curl your knuckles in like you're making a fist. Yeah, and then stretch the tops of your hands now to either side of the room and breathe. Relax those shoulders. 
the, the tension starts to happen in your arms, the tendency is for your shoulders to get involved. Just relax the shoulders, good. And then exhale and allow the arms to just float down. Ah, take a little break, relax. Ooh, that feels good, right? Shake it out, shake out the head. Yeah, good, all right. So we're gonna come into a little bicep work. These, you know, so you can you know, show your grandchildren like how big your biceps are. <laughs> good, so we're gonna start with our hands in cactus pose. Yeah, good. All right, and now we're gonna just draw your fingers back so your palms are up and imagine you have like trays on your hands. Yes, good. So arms, the upper arms are in line with the shoulders. Yes, fingers back. And now you're gonna use your body weight and tension to lift and lower. So imagine that there's something heavy like a half gallon of milk or something like that. I would say a cocktail, but anyway. And then feel the resistance as you push your trays up and then feel that weight and you don't wanna drop it. So you wanna slowly lower it even though it's really heavy, that tray. Yeah, so you're adding tension. Yeah, you can press into your feet and push up. So use your, your body to create that tension, yeah. So big, heavy half gallon that you're re reaching and raising up. And then don't just drop that half gallon. You don't want it to fall off your tray. So slowly lower it. Do a couple more here, lifting that tray up and lowering it down slowly. And one more, reach it up. Yeah, pause there, reach it a little higher and release that tray down yeah good and then relax the arms down and shake it out nice work everyone good all right now we're going to work these triceps right the, the 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 little flabby things underneath our biceps yeah so we're going to start with hands in prayer position here and we're going to lift our prayer hands up towards the sky. You can have your elbows bent. We're going to bend the, thing, the hands to the back as if you want to bring your thumbs onto the back of your, your shoulder blades. Yeah. So wherever it's comfortable for you, you might be here. I don't know how tight you are. So wherever you can drop back. Good. And you're just going to very gently press into your palms. Create that tension in your body, you know, that weight, using the weight of your body. And then float the arms up and then bring them back. So you're gently pressing into the palms as you're lowering and raising. Yeah, so there should be no pain here, no discomfort, just feeling that will eventually start to feel that tricep Start to really be working. Yeah. Continue to breathe with your ujjayi breath. Yeah. So you're feeling that tension. It's as if you're we're, we're moving the hands through mud. Yeah. Or molasses in January. Yes. Up and down. And one more. How you doing? Up and down. Good. Next time your hands come down, just relax and then slowly lower them to your shoulders and maybe just do a couple little circles, just baby little circles, relaxing these shoulders. Yeah, let's pause here and just massage out the shoulders. They did some good work for you today. Yes, and relax. We're not quite done. We have one more yet here. So shake off any tension. Yeah, good. And then one more for the upper, uh, for the strengthening our arms. Yeah, so bringing your hands into prayer position and float. It's so important to strengthen our whole body, even for balance, right? Because if we have a strong body, if we try to, if we're weak up in our upper body and we're lifting packages or whatever, it makes us less stable, right? Because it's weak here. So the bottom bo part of our body tries to compensate and that's when we get wobbly. So if this is strong, then the lower body won't be as wobbly. Yeah. So hands into prayer position. 
float the elbows up. And again, we're gonna press our palms together. So you'll feel that tension, good. And now we're gonna just take that, uh, the hands as we're pressing, we're gonna slide them over to the right a little bit and back to center and slide them over. So you're pushing that right hand into the left as it glides over and slowly come back to center and push that left hand into the right to glide it over. Yeah, so you're again, using your own strength against each other, the, you know, in opposition. Yeah, and one more round here, press. Do it, give it your 100%. Good, and press over to the other side. Good, and then come to center and relax. Shake it out, shake out the head, nice. All right, good upper body work for us. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna come into scooting forward into our chair. We're gonna bring our hands onto our lap. Good, relax the shoulders back and down. Good, and on an inhale breath, let's lift our chest, coming into cow pose. So lift that chin, slide the hands back and stretch your elbows back behind you. That should feel really nice now on those shoulders. Yeah, good. And then as you exhale, soften the body, slide your hands forward and drop your head. It should also feel really nice on the back of the neck. And then inhale, press into your feet. Let's float back up into a cow pose, slide your hands up. Reach your elbows back, lift your chest, and exhale, slide the hands forward, drop your head. Let's pause here with the head down, good. And just draw the head side to side, just relaxing the back of your neck. Find that ujjayi breath. Become aware of anything that's tight, Move through it with grace, breath, awareness, movement with grace. Okay, the next time the head comes down, good. Press down into your feet and slowly slide the hands back up. Let's reach the palms all the way back. Let's do one more uh, chest opener here. Lift the chest, look up, good. And then exhale, hands come to um, thighs and relax the body, yeah. So just bending this whole time, each time you make a movement, be aware of how it's feeling and where you're moving and how it feels once you arrive there. Yeah, the awareness is important, yeah. There should be no, um, in yoga, you know, no uh, uh, injuries in yoga if we're aware, right? So we don't want to move too fast, get to something, and then get out fast. And that's when typically injury happens, right? Okay, so we're going to come into a little bit wider legs here. I'm good. All right. And then again, we're going to, um, let's just do a couple upper body rotations here. So take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, press your belly forward. Ooh, see how that feels on those inner thighs. Uh, mine are tight. And then press into your feet and slowly come back up. Good. And again, take a breath in. And as you exhale, draw, lead, lead with your chest. Keep your spine straight and lean forward. So we don't want a rounded spine here. Yeah. Good. And slowly come back up. Good. All right. Now we're going to make some rotations. So take a breath in. And as you exhale, come forward. And now as you inhale, bring the body over to the right. And as you exhale, bring it back. And as you inhale, over to the left. And as you exhale, forward. Good. So inhale right, exhale back. As you go back, tuck that belly in. And then inhale to the left. And exhale forward. Pause. Let's reverse. So inhale left. Exhale back. Inhale right. Exhale forward. One more. Nice long 
slow, deep rotations. And slowly come back forward. Good, and slowly press into your feet and hands to bring the body back up. We're gonna toe heel, toe heel. Our uh, feet hip distance apart, good. All right, we're gonna make our way to a stand, good. So leaning forward in your chair, pressing down into your toes and come to a very mindful stand to the back of your chair. See how your body feels coming to a stand. Yeah, and just wiggle out and shake out any tension that might have built up there. Wiggle out the shoulders. Yeah, just get loose, as loose as you can. Yeah, all right, we're gonna come to center here. Good, and then on an inhale breath, we're gonna reach the shoulders up to our ears. Get a nice tall spine and then exhale, relax and soften, good. And inhale again, lift the shoulders up and exhale, soften, good, all right. And then you can, if you have your chair in front of you, you can hold on to that, but we're gonna just do some heel raises here. So we're gonna literally just be lifting our heels and dropping them down. The things to remember here are to keep the knees soft so where our knees are not locked out, right? That's too much tension on the knees and that our chin is tucked back slightly so that the head's not forward. Yeah, so just coming up and down, good. So you can take it uh, to wherever you want. You can do this pace, you can go faster if you'd like, good. And you can start to just shake the hands if you, if you like. You can drop the hands with the heels. Yeah, just do a little as if we have weights, you know, little bicep pumps. Yes, good. Do four more. And you're really dropping the heels, right? That sends the, and relax. So shake out the feet, good. Yeah, all right, now we're gonna walk on all sides of our feet. This is where you might need a chair for assistance and have it either next to you or in front of you. Yeah, but we're gonna kind of raise our heels again. So raising the heels, you can start with holding on and if you're feeling pretty sturdy or you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can let go and just walk side to side, maybe forward and back a little bit on the balls of your feet. Feel the whole ball of your feet. Feel the toes working and keeping you stable. Good. Back and forth, back and forth. Good. And come back to center. Good. Now here's the really challenging one, lifting the toes and walking on the heels. This one gets me all the time. It's a, it's a one of the most challenging balance, uh, 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 I can't think of words today for some reason. Yeah, uh, challenges, right? Because our body doesn't like to go backwards. It's like falling back, right? It's always trying to right itself. So this is challenging for the brain, right? So you can start here. You can just try maybe lifting the fingers up once you've got it, walking on the heels, lifting the toes a little higher maybe. Yeah, and relax, good. Those balancing challenges keep you in the present moment. And let's now roll onto the outsides of the feet and just. Massage out the outsides of the feet, right? Very carefully, you don't wanna roll. This really helps to strengthen that outside ankle. So if you do misstep and you do roll the ankle, you know, I used to roll my ankle all the time and get injured until I started doing this regularly. And now if I do that, if I do it, right? I don't get as injured, it doesn't last for days. Yeah, and relax. And now rocking on the insides of our feet. Yeah, just the best that you can do because I know we have shoes on. Good. And relax and come back to center. Good. All right, bringing our legs a little wider apart. Soft bend in the knees. Make sure that you have room for your arms to go side to side. We're gonna to come to our side to side here, yeah. So inhale to one side and exhale to the other. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Inhale, ah, exhale, 
in, ah, exhale, ah, ah, oh, really let it go. Big exhale breath. Oh, 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 and one more. Oh, I know we do this every class and I find myself doing this. Hopefully you do too. During the course of your day, when you're feeling stressed, tense, whatever, right? Just do that. Let out that tension because that's where what creates disease is that when we pile tension in because life happens, right? But when we don't have a release, that's when our body starts to hold it, get stiff, get sick, right? Because we don't have, a, it doesn't have a way out. Yeah. And that's just a good, simple way out of our strife and tension and, you know, fear and all of those things. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to come to the breath of joy. Again, just being joyful that, and with gratitude that we are here practicing yoga, right? One of the many things to be grateful for. All right. So we're going to just on an inhale, we're going to soften our knees. So bend the knees a little bit and on an inhale breath, reach your arms forward and up, lift your heart, look up as if you just want to grab the universe, right? And then as you exhale, soften the knees, cross your arms, give yourself a hug, drop your head. Inhale, unfold, Reach the arms up again, so knees straighten, lift the heart each time a little bit more and exhale. You can bring the opposite arm now on top to give yourself a hug. Good. And inhale, nice big open heart. And on an exhale, opposite arm on top. Hug yourself, yes, good. And last one here, straighten the knees, reach up, look up, lift those palms up. And just as if you're open to have all the grace that's just waiting for you to fall down upon you and in you. And exhale, opposite arm on top, if you even remember. And curl in, relax the head. And then slowly just straighten the knees, lift the head and on cross. Yeah. A nice visual to have is grace is out there for us to have each and every day. If we stay inside and we don't open up to that grace, it just sort of is like it falls over you, right? And not into you. And so just lifting our heart and opening ourselves up to the opportunity to receive that grace is very healing for us, yeah. Good, because it's just there waiting for us to just take it in. <laughs> Good, and this practice helps us to do that, recognize there's so much grace around us, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna come to um, side bend here. So let's come to Dadasana pose. Palms are forward, feet about hip distance apart, good. And on an inhale breath, we're gonna reach that right arm out and lift it up, good. We're gonna take a breath in. And as we exhale, reach those right fingertips up as high as you can, get as tall as you can, you're pressing into your toes. And inhale again, reach up now and exhale, reach up and over as if there's a huge ball here and you're reaching up and over the ball to lean over. You can keep this left hand on that thigh for leverage. Good. And breathe into this right side, your right rib cage. You're opening up your liver energy, your gallbladder energy on this side. And if you'd like, and if it's available, turn and look underneath your right arm and find your ujjayi breath. That's our music today, our ujjayi breath. Smile on the face. See if you can soften and relax with each exhale breath. Good. And then when you're ready, press down into your toes and slowly float the body back up, head back forward. And on it, let's turn our head over to the right again. And on an exhale breath, start to watch, catch, uh, look, 
but look at your left, right palm rather, and just watch that right arm as it slowly descends towards the floor. Just become aware the hand and the arm moving through air and your fingers and your palms and this amazing body that we have. And, that's, and then when the fingers relax towards the floor, lift the head up and forward. Good, and relax. We're gonna do that on the other side. Good. We're gonna take the left arm and reach it out and up. Again, you can be in cactus pose or not as far if that's where your shoulder lies, but you wanna to try to keep this upper arm in line with the ear. Good, take a breath in. And as you exhale, stretch up a little bit more if you can. Yeah, pressing into those toes. So you're pressing down to reach up. Good, another big breath in. And as you exhale, reach up and over that ball. And again, you can press the palm into your thigh. That takes pressure off your back. Belly can tuck in. Yes, and you can gently look underneath that left arm now and find your breath. Big Ujjayi breath. Hear it in your head. Good, good, good. On an inhale breath, slowly float that left arm up. You can keep your head just looking where it is to that left. And at some point, catch the gaze of that left palm and just watch it slowly float through space. Breathing, having that awareness of what it feels like for that arm to be moving through the air. And gracefully, as the arm reaches the floor, lift the head up and forward. Good. And roll it out, shake it out. Nice. Good. All right. We're going to come into that little bicep bar. We're going to hold our trays again for this upper body. Yeah, so we're gonna bring our arms into cactus pose. Good. And then we're gonna lift the palms up and then catch those trays again. Tuck your belly in, press gently into your toes. And as if again, there's a half a gallon of water on those trays, you're gonna lift them up and lower them down slowly. Hold that weight as they're coming down. Yeah. Lower. And one more time, lift. And lower. Good. And then release the arms down. Good. Roll out your shoulders. Shake out your feet. Yeah. Good. And coming into a little forward fold here now and, and get and we're gonna get our knees a little bit looser. Good. So let's take a nice breath in. Big breath, take a little bit more in. And exhale. Just let the breath relax. Good. And take another breath in. Pause the breath. Take a little more in. And exhale, allow the body to relax. Good. Now on an inhale breath, we're gonna float the arms forward and up. And we're gonna look up between our hands. Good. And now on an exhale breath, soften your knees, start to reach your hips to the back wall as you lower your arms. So just to wherever it's comfortable for you. Do you have osteoporosis? You can do a flat spine by bringing your hands to your thighs and reaching the crown of your head forward. Or if it feels okay on your body to just drape your body forward and relax your head down, that's another option. And just breathe here. So hands can be, again, on thighs or shins, or they can just be hanging. Good. And if your head is down, just rock your head side to side. Even if you're in halfway lift, just rock that head side to side. Yeah. And just allow the head to be nice and loose. Yeah. More breath in. And as you exhale, relax. Okay. 
And then bringing your hands out to your legs somewhere if they're hanging down. Keep your head down and start to walk your hands up your thighs. Press them to your toes to assist with that raising of the body. Yeah. And then once the chest comes up and shoulders come up, reach the arms out, stretch out and reach them up again. Let's just grab onto that grace that's just there waiting for us to accept it. Bring your palms together and bring that grace into your heart. Hold your hands to your heart. Yeah. And relax. We get so caught up in our to do, like I think um, 47% of the time, I think they did a survey I read, 47%, almost half the time, we, it, we are existing in our day to day. We are not paying attention to what we're doing, <laughs> which is how we fall and how we trip and how accidents happen and all of that. And just how we get, ten, you know, a lot of tension. If we're just paying attention to what is going on at the present time and the present moment, that's where we're most happy. Yeah, good. All right, shake it out. We're going to bring our hands onto our thighs. Again, sending our hips back, we're going to just lay your hands onto your knees. Yeah. And now very gently, we're going to make a little figure eight with the knees. Yeah. So just find your figure eight. And if that's not serving you, just circle your knees in one direction. Yeah. Just doing a little figure eight. Good. And then if time that just you're at back to center, let's bring those knees back to center. Good. And then keeping the knees bent, sitting your hips back a little bit more. Yes. We're going to lift our chest and lift the gaze forward. Good. Coming into a little chair pose here. Really nice back bend. All right. If it's feeling, if you're feeling pressing down into your toes, if you're feeling sturdy, raise one arm forward and the other arm forward. Good. So either straight forward or you can bring them up slightly. Look between your hands and breathe. Find the deepest ujjayi breath you can muster. Yes, because this is a challenging pose. So the more the challenge, the deeper the breath. In our day-to-day -day human life, we do the opposite, right? The more we're challenged and tense, we stop breathing. Yeah. We want to make that the, the get the brain to work where if it's really a challenge, this is when I need to breathe deep. One more breath. And as you exhale, relax the hands down onto your thighs. Look down towards the floor and press into your toes and either walk your hands up or just slowly straighten the knees. Head is the last thing to come up. And let's bring our hands onto our heart and let's close our eyes. So feel the heart beating as the breath comes back and slows down. Yeah, just imagine all of that oxygenated blood pumping through your body, keeping it healthy, keeping you safe. And it's just really nice to hold your heart every now and then. Good. And then gently flutter the eyes open and release the hands down. Good. And let's just shake out any last bits of tension. We're going to come into a little bit of a back bend here before we sit down. Good. All right. So let's slide our hands back like we're flying. And then interlace your hands behind you. An option here too is to put your hands, sometimes it feels nice to put your hands on your low back or your sacrum actually. Yeah, the fingers down. Either way, we're gonna reach the shoulders back and then lift the chin, keep that back of the neck long. Gently use your toes to press into the floor. The more we remember to use the toes, again, the stronger, more stable will be. Plus our toes are a big component of our balance and strength. And breathe. Two, one. 
And then the next time you exhale, relax the body. Good. Unclasp your hands. Good. Roll out the shoulders. Do one little more, one more little shake here before we make our way down to our chairs. Good. Okay. So again, with awareness, we're going to sit down into our chairs. Okay. I don't know if at this point your sitting and standing has gotten a little bit more uh, stable, right? Because we use our toes and we send our hips back when we sit down. Yeah. So just at your own pace, sit down as gracefully as you can. Yeah. And we're going to uh, scoop the hips up. All right. We're going to do a little bit more of a and not intense. It's a more challenging hip opener, but we'll have different options here. Good. Let's take a breath in. And as you exhale, relax the body and lean forward slightly and let's grab behind our right knee. And on an inhale breath, you can hug your thigh into your belly. Let's give our ankles a little love again with a couple rotations. Good. And then if you can, bringing that outside ankle onto the leg, right? Yes. And maybe even lifting the toe a little bit. So we're just going to take this as if this is like a little baby. And we're just going to rock side to side. Option is you can have the outside of that foot onto that uh, left shoe, right? The outside of the right foot. And you just rock a little bit. We want to open up this right hip here a little more. We're just rocking side to side, feeling that opening. Good. Now, another option, and we're going to take it a little further, is you can grab the bottom of your foot or your ankle and lift that leg up and rock it side to side. That's very challenging. Make sure your belly's tucked in if you're doing that. And as if you're just rocking a little baby, it is actually called rock the baby. <laughs> yeah, see how that goes. Maybe you're feeling less of an opening here. Maybe you drop your leg back onto your leg. Let's come to center and let's release that down. Good. All right. Let's take a big breath in, lift the chest. And now on an exhale breath, press your chest forward. Now you should be feeling more of an opening in this right hip. Yeah, whether you're up here or down on, uh, with your feet, one on top of the other. Take a breath in and exhale, relax your head down. Let the head, the, let the upper body relax. Relax the shoulders and the arms. You can lay your forearms onto that upper leg if you'd like. Close your eyes and breathe. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths here. Good. On the next inhale breath, slowly bring your body back up. Good. If you're crossed at your or with uh, at your feet, you're going to cross your right foot over your left. If you're here and you can just drop that right leg onto the left and come across. And if this isn't feeling comfortable, just cross at your feet. So either one of these. Good. And find a nice tall spine. Good. So yes, and you can be crossed either way. We're gonna come into a twist. So let's relax our arms down alongside the body. On an inhale breath, reach the arms forward and up. Good, take a nice breath in. As you exhale, stretch up as high as you can. Again, arms can be wherever they're comfortable on your shoulders. Another breath in, and as you exhale, now soften your shoulders. Relax the arms even though they're up. And let's press into that left uh, foot and left toes to pivot over to the right. As far as is comfortable and then relax your arms down. So bring your left forearm or hand on the outside of that right thigh, press into it and draw that right leg over to the left a little bit. Keep the spine tall, turn your gaze and look over your right shoulder and breathe. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths. And 
and refine that Ujjayi music. And as you exhale, relax everything. Slowly start to turn your gaze forward and slowly bring your body back forward. Good. And we're going to uncross. And we'll just do that to finish. We'll do that same thing on the other side. Good. So take a nice breath in. Exhale, lean forward. Grab behind the opposite knee now on an inhale breath. See if you can hug your thigh into your belly to give your belly a little massage, your internal organs there. You can rotate your foot. Again, you can always keep your toe down and go side to side here. Yeah. And reverse. Good. Now options on this side is you can bring that foot, the left, this left foot over to the right thigh, or you can bring the top of the bottom of your foot onto the shoe, your right shoe. Yeah. Good. All right. Let's just start to rock side to side or to rock that baby. And if this is feeling enough of a challenge, you stay right here. Yeah. If you want to grab on here and, and grab that knee, put the knee into the crook of your elbow and lift the leg up and do a little rock the baby there. That's just an option. I don't know your body. So if this is hurting your back or your back's rounded to do that, then you drop back down or down to your feet. Yes, be aware of how your body feels. It's all about that. Your awareness of today, is this working for me? And if it's not, maybe I do something else. Yeah, and let's release that down. Good. Take a nice breath in. Again, get a nice tall spine. Look up slightly, exhale, press your heart forward as the body comes forward, hinging at the hips. When you found your range of motion, then go ahead and relax your gaze down and breathe into that left hip now. Becoming aware of the tightness in the hip. Becoming aware of, is this side a little looser or tighter than the other side? Just a little gentle awareness. Let the breath guide you through and relax you as you exhale. Good. And then on an inhale breath, slowly bring the body back up. We're gonna go into our twist. So either just crossing the leg over slowly and gently, yeah, or you can cross the ankles, you know, this left ankle over the right foot. Yes, so either one, yeah. Nice tall spine, relax the arms down. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up, good. And once up here, take a breath in. As you exhale, try to touch the ceiling with your fingers. Stretch up, take another breath in. As you exhale, relax the shoulders, relax the arms. Slowly start to turn, press into that right foot to turn over to the left. And then relax the arms down and press that right forearm or hand into the outside of the left thigh and press that left thigh over to the right a little bit. And then turn your gaze and look over your left shoulder and breathe. Getting some toxins released with this twist massaging your internal organs. This just brings energy and blood flow to not only our extremities, but to our internal organs as well, this practice. That's why it keeps us healthier. And on your next exhale breath, relax the body. Slowly start to turn your head forward. Let the body follow. Good. And uncross, just gently uncross the legs. Nice, nice, beautiful awareness today, everyone. So let's get ready for our final relaxation. So sitting your hips all the way back into your chair, bringing your palms up onto your lap. You can lay down if you'd like in Shavasana as well, if, you're, if that's in your practice. And close your eyes. So let's just take a couple of minutes here, but not minutes, but a couple of seconds to just make any final little adjustments. Like when you land here, are you completely comfortable? Are you gonna be able to let go? 
of all of your efforts. Yeah, so let's take a nice big Ujjayi breath in. And exhale it out. That Ujjayi breath is almost like a massage for your chakras, your energy points. One more Ujjayi breath as long and slow and deep as you can. And as you exhale, relax the body. So let go of all the tension in the body. Feel the back of your neck collapse, your shoulders, your upper arms, your biceps, your triceps, your hands and your fingers. Feel the belly relax. Feel the liver and the gallbladder and the stomach, the spleen, all relax. Feel your hips so heavy. The entire weight of your body is being held up by the chair or the floor. Allow that weight to release into that. Relax the legs, feet. Allow your toes, all 10 of them, to relax. And wiggle them just a little bit and let them relax. Bringing a gentle little smile to your face. Feeling the body so heavy. And noticing any thoughts in the mind. Notice if your mind feels like it's settling down. You simply allow thoughts to come and go. They're like our breath. They come and they go. In and out. And just take 30 seconds here. Sit in the quiet. And just noticing the soft breath in and out of the nostrils. And noticing and becoming aware that with each gentle exhale breath, body softens a little bit more, a little bit more. Let go of all of your efforts. mind begins to wander, just bring your awareness back to your breath. Breath going into the nostrils and out of the nostrils. Let go of all of your efforts. And begin to notice how you feel. How does your body feel? How does your mind feel? And allow yourself to stay here as long as you'd like. In this beautiful rest.
So if you choose to slowly start coming back, begin to become aware of the sounds around you, outside sounds, close in sounds, sound of your breath. And begin to slowly breathe in and out with ujjayi breath. And listening to that beautiful music of the breath. Become aware of your fingers and toes and begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Begin to move the body however you'd like, maybe swaying it side to side, head relaxed, smile on the face. Good. And find yourself coming back to stillness. Bring your hands into prayer position. Rest your thumbs onto your heart in gratitude for bringing yourself to this practice today. Taking care of yourself which takes care of the world. Let's take a nice big deep breath in and feel your heart rise and fill up. And as you exhale, relax your forehead to your fingertips. Shoulders relax. We'll close practice today with this. Any knowledge that gives us a broad vision and a big heart is spirituality. When you're feeling ready and complete, Gently begin to flutter the eyes open as you lift your head. And I thank you all for coming, sharing in this practice together on this beautiful, gorgeous day. Have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste. And keep that ujjayi breath as your constant companion.